Now let's talk about the front page of the Daily Nation and the Standard as well. Shock cabinet reshuffle, Musalia's big win. The uh, Standard is calling it a winner for Musalia and a loser for Alfred Mutua, a winner for Alice Wahome and a loser for Moses Kuria. And I'll start with you, Murungi, on this. Is this the best move? <laughs> before, I was responding to something did? before. before saying, you want a right of reply? Yes. On no. Um, you see, one of the failures yeah. of Kenya Kwanzaa government or regime, of which Senator Morongi is a ranking member, they have failed the test of regional and ethnic diversity as a constitutional principle. Even as we discuss the cabinet, yeah. they would have used that opportunity to correct the wrongs they did in the appointment that did not reflect the regional and ethnic diversity as a constitutional principle. They didn't do that. We have seen, you know, uh, reshuffle. And we have said, for us, reshuffle is not enough. Yeah. We know in terms of appointing public officers and state officers, they must look at suitability, competency, capability, and personal integrity. There are faces in that cabinet that has been reshuffled, Trevor Mbija, that fail the test of integrity, fail the test of suitability, fail the test of capability. And therefore, Kenyans were hoping that having witnessed some of the state officers in the name of cabinet secretaries, yeah making utterances that are in total violation of the provisions of leadership integrity. This was the only opportunity that Honde Boruto would have used to dismiss as per the Constitution. Number two, Kenyans would have wished that Honde Boruto would have used the opportunity in this reshuffle to also correct the inclusivity that is lacking. As a Zimio, if you listened to our presentation at the uh, dialogue talks, we did say that it, there's an urgent need to ensure that we practice inclusivity in this country. Mm -hmm. And we gave an example of appointments, particularly in the uh, permanent secretaries. Some of them have been reshuffled. The if 26 of them are from two communities, Whatever you know, for example, you give me this slot. Eh? No, no, yeah, I, I was to speak. I, I was to speak. So I was just trying you to know, clear you my know space. where I work. Eh? Where I work, uh, I'm actually the deputy speaker in the Senate. Yes. And when a member interjects, intervenes that he has a point of honor, yeah. what he has is not a point of honor because he wanted to do He's a rejoinder. He is now contributing a <laughs> eh? point of argument. Yes. So I think if whatever he is saying, he could have gotten his chance to yeah. also to, to, to say that because you asked a very speak, important speak, question. You can me, but you can proceed. <laughs> no. Proceed and finish. Okay. No speakers so speaker, him. thank you. It's time to I, I, I think he, he likes what I'm saying because it is true. You know, <laughs> and, and, and just to take it back, Trevor, yeah. this issue of inclusivity is not only applicable in appointment, even in resources. Oh. We have seen that. So what we are saying is that uh, the people of Kenya have had it very difficult okay. to embrace Kenya Kwanzaa region okay. because of lack of inclusivity. That is a requirement of the law. And therefore, even as we talk about this cabinet reshuffle, yeah. In our view, it is just like any other reshuffle because you are just reassigning unsuitability, reassigning incompetency, reassigning, yeah. you know, uh, lack of personal integrity. Okay. Now you bring in speaker on this. And so, 